I've heard this so many times. Kwelumi, how have you created the life you have right now? It seems like you're always traveling somewhere. You seem very free. You seem very happy. And today we are going to be talking about the things I've done to live a very unconventional life. And this is number one, be more audacious. A lot of the time we feel like, you know, we don't have this say in how our life becomes if i was to ever tattoo anything on my beautiful skin which i don't think i would but that would be it audacity audacious we just need to be more audacious we need to ask it's literally biblical ask and it shall be given unto you so you need to be more audacious you need to step out of your comfort zone. you need to do something more crazy you need to keep knocking on those doors and seeing exactly which one opens because if you don't ask you would not get and that is that is on standard that is the fact of life a lot of the time we try to to beat around the bush but we need to just be like look nobody is coming to save me i need to step out i need to do this thing scared and i think that's another thing people don't realize that fear is part of the journey a lot of the time we try to have these experiences without feeling the fear i think there's this quote it's not about how to my pants about how quickly i can clean up and get going you will feel the fear your hand should be trembling you should be getting no's and rejection because guess what it means that you are trying and that's number three try try and try again try and fail try and go try and be you know if you don't try you will never know people are like oh i don't know if i'm good at this have you tried it i don't know if i like solo traveling have you tried it if you don't know it's because you haven't tried if you tried you will know you have information realizing that a lot of the experiment is not to be positive is not to get a result failing is a data failing is you saying oh this doesn't work a lot of people will not even try out a delicacy or a cuisine like i'm not sure try it and then you have fact you have data to show that look this stuff i like this stuff i don't like i like fish but i don't like meat you need to try it first the next point is to realize that this life is yours not your parents not your friends not what people expect of you because when you're on your dying bed nobody would be like oh i wish no most of the time what people wish they did is more of the things that they did not do is this book like literally she interviewed people on their dying bed and it literally was about what people regret they regret not taking that vacation they regret not spending more time with family but they say i regret not working one million hours a day they regret the things that they didn't do that they knew that they could they regretted those ideas those concepts those things those problems they knew they could solve but didn't solve because they allowed fear to take hold of them the next step that i personally use is taking small steps i cannot overestimate how important this is taking small steps you know that saying that humans you know overestimate what they can do in the short term but underestimate what they can do in the long term taking small sizable step as long as you're one percent better than what you were before that is important and that is something you can build on and motion is very important there's that science law about energy just keeps going if you leave it at motion basically so sometimes we just need to keep building a lot of times stagnancy can be lethal stagnancy will keep you comfortable stagnancy will keep you in that same place we need to be understanding that nobody would truly come and save us for a long time a lot of people believe that somebody somewhere is coming to save them and that couldn't be far from the truth nobody absolutely nobody is coming to save you another thing that's helped me tremendously to live a very unconventional life is to live life in chapters it came to me as i was speaking on a podcast recently and i was like look i admire people that they're from their nine to five they graduate and they do this one thing and they're incredible at it i personally i have been a scientist at one point in my time i've been a coach at one point in my time i've been a social media and internet personality like i've done so many things sometimes we box ourselves and we limit ourselves like as a architect i cannot be on social media you can do anything you have power start positive affirming start praying start getting those things out right i'm gonna get an amazing email today it's always gonna reach out my name will be spoken in the right rooms what are you saying is so important it's so so important someone said the i am statement is one of the most powerful things you're literally embodying those things that you're saying you're literally saying i am i am lazy i am ah 
Please, you're not. Don't take in those personalities. I'm not saying be, be dulu dulu about what you're feeling. If you're feeling sad, it's a range of emotions. You can feel that. But don't let that be the ultimate, the constant, the every time you're repeating this thing. Let it have balance. Be as positive as you are negative. Realizing that this life cannot just end with me. I need to impact people. Every day I wake up, I'm like, how can I make one person life better? What do I need to bring together? What resources do I need to birth? What do I need to do? What conversation, what space do I need to be able to help one more person? And really mostly is to realize that their life can be very expansive. We live sometimes so small-minded about what we can and cannot do. And especially when we're listening to the naysayers. Do not listen to naysayers. Do not listen to people that their job is to be an internet troll, is to just be a keyboard warrior, is just to type. Everybody can have a typewriter, but can they do what is needed to be done? You shut out the noise. It's all about putting on those horse blinders, putting on so tightly. And people are like, what does that mean? Go and watch an horse race. You get them lined up. They're all in separate cages. But even more importantly, they have something called the horse blinders, like an eye shield. And mostly it's just for them to have that narrow vision of them seeing the finish line. We need to do that as humans too as well. A lot of time we are doing this, comparing comparison is the theft of joy comparison will rob you of everything good comparison will take away that little sparkle that you should have comparison will make you feel so inadequate even when you're performing at your best your life don't need to make sense to nobody your life don't need to fit into no box your life doesn't need to fit a particular script that the society has written out your life doesn't need to make sense in fact, when they call you crazy, what does that mean? You were doing the right thing. I would say it's almost the end of this year. If they haven't called you crazy, you're playing it too safe. You are doing it too safe. You are being conscious about what would they say? What would they do? What would they think? What, who are the we? Think about it. When have you actually taken time to care about somebody else? Everybody just cares about themselves. And that's another thing. Even when as a creative creator, realizing that people don't, Give two, two shoes about you. Nobody cares about what you decide to do. So it would be so sad not to actually live the life you want to live because you're thinking about what other people will be thinking when nobody's actually thinking about you. How crazy is that? Nobody's caring about you. Nobody's thinking about you. Nobody's sharing about you. Yes, you might be a passing conversation. Yes, you might be a group gossip for five minutes. But nobody is actively like <laughs> aspirating and perspirating because of what you do. No. So live your life in your own term because at the end of the day, you need to live with that decision. You have to be okay. That's another thing about living an unconventional life. Sometimes I had to walk away from some certain things and I needed to be okay with those decisions. It's so important to realize that. Like you have power, you have thoughts, you have words, you have action. You can create magic. If you can find some of the idea, if you can just have that idea, something that just clicks in your brain, then trust me, you can do that incredible thing. So a lot of people have these ideas and they're like, I don't think I can do it. For you to have the idea, trust me, you can do it. And things about ideas that they float. They float around and someone else will grab it. Have you ever had that idea you don't implement it, someone else have it and it goes amazing. You're like sitting down like, ah, I had that same idea. I had that. That's the ideas. They are literally like floating things. And that's why things are not original and everything, la, 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 la. Like one time, I had this concept for a campaign. We're still talking with the brand and stuff. But another creator crowed out that same idea. And if we were simultaneous doing it, someone would say, oh, you copied this person. It was wild how it was so similar. That is ideas. There are no new things. We need to work on those ideas. We need to be more audacious. And realizing that things don't just sometimes click like that. It takes time to be it really does take time but when it does click you realize you're like ah that's what we're trying to do all this time and it makes sense and it's such a joyful moment but brick by brick by brick by brick showing up for yourself every single day keep building keep keep laying it up like this until you create that beautiful life that you want for yourself another beautiful way to have a life that is not conventional is to realize the possibility that is out there for you i remember googling just kind of like career paths and stuff like that and i came across this website that literally were just telling you new careers out there and you can use linkedin you can use different things 
just finding out what is possible and i was finding some careers i'm like what you're paying this person how much to do what like this is a job you know just realizing that how small-minded we can be when we don't even know that this possibility is even a possibility so those are the kind of things actively looking at opportunities and this is where you know social event networking your network is your net worth like really network hard and get to know people genuinely not just a trade by battle kind of thing but sincerely get to know their work get to know what interests them get to talk to people find that let them talk about what they do and build those relationships over time because you never know when words are mentioned in the room these are the full circle moment when the friend recommends to me like a tv crew and then the tv crew found me and is there like a whole big project now based on one person and fostering those relationships over time sometimes this thing takes time to build even for myself i struggled a lot with kind of like long-term thinking it's like what is the next two months goals like, like two years goals i'm like ah, i don't know what i'm gonna be in two years but realizing that some goals do need to take that long you're gonna build that a company you're gonna build that a thing you're gonna build out this product in this time to kind of like do the market research then put it out then testing then putting that so just understanding that time is important too as well for unconventional life you want to do but really fundamentally is doing things that are true to yourself things that makes you unique there's a reason why people tune into your channel people where i want to know about from you is because of your lived experience and telling your story often too as well can be quite liberating for yourself and for other people around you when they see themselves in those spaces keep deciding every time i'm going to show up a little bit more for myself today i'm going to do this thing and realizing that feelings are not fact Feelings are feelings. They are literally what you think you feel at that moment. But realizing that I'm human, I will have my feelings, but that's where your system comes into place. Despite how I feel, how is my money routine going to be like? Despite how I feel, what are the priorities and what are the goals and the set of deadlines I've set for myself? Despite the feeling, what do I need to do to be able to achieve my goals? So that is where your system are very important. Your things that you've put into place for things like this, when you're like, oh, I don't know, I just want to lay in bed all day but you have deadlines so you cannot lay in bed all day you put on your makeup you come on you set your camera and you have this conversation spend time with self get to know yourself journal get yourself prompters reflect on your life where was the most joyful moment where do you feel the most liberated what do you want life to look like feel those emotions visualize see yourself in those moments and over time you will find that you're working towards it but it all starts from one to two to ten and keeping building like that another key point is that it's okay to get inspiration from people that you admire for example for me it's opera i love how she's built an empire i love how she continues to impact the people around her and just her commitment to be better from starting from nothing to everything she has but it'd be wrong for me to then leave oprah's vision to then neglect what i was created for so what i'm saying is it's okay to get inspiration it's okay to study you know the people that have gone ahead of you to learn from their mistake to shorten things i always tell people look read people's book read people autobiographies because it allows you to understand things it's like knowledge condensed you know so really then taking those ideas and then implementing it to your own goals is so important because a lot of the time people run with other people's vision but that is lack of discipline discipline is you yes seeing all this information around you sitting with it and really distilling it to be like yes we have created unconventional life for themselves but how can this work for me how can this be my own version it takes a lot of inspiration yes be inspired but don't lose sight of your own goals your own destination so continue to move in that direction but it takes stillness and more importantly intentionality you need to be intentional about what you're building it takes time like i said previously it's not something that is overnight success it's not something that will happen like instant noodles it's not quick but it is what wow so continue to be inspired by this series and i'm so excited to continue to share